Work is progressing on the Highway 385 expansion south of Alliance. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, work is progressing on the Highway 385 expansion south of Alliance as crews are busy moving massive amounts of earth as they cut through the sand hills to create a level surface for the roadway. Nebraska DOT District 5 Highway Project Manager Russ Fricke told KNB News the project, which is part of the Heartland Expressway, is on schedule with hopes of switching traffic over to the newly created southbound lanes later this year. Uh, they're moving quite a bit of dirt. I think as of now, I think they're around 400,000 cubic yards of dirt. The project actually is, plant quantity is around a million. So not quite halfway there. They started there towards the end of March, so they're moving a lot of dirt very quickly. Paul Reed Construction Superintendent Corey Shiflett says the project is moving along quickly, considering how the sandy material is. Oh, we're doing probably a mile, a uh, half mile a day. We're, it's between 15 and 17,000 yards of material that we move a day. Shifflett says prep work is a big part with pre-watering the loose sandy soil ahead of the earth moving for compaction and to make the sand easier to move. A good majority of the water is groundwater that we pump out of a well and then we have pumps and booster pumps that pump it to one end of the job or the other and then runs through sprinkler lines that we spray on the cuts. Resurfing of the northbound lanes will then be started during next year's construction season with project completion anticipated by the end of next year. Well, last week, before breaking for the weekend, Chair of the Appropriations Committee, John Stinner, handed out a little light reading material to his colleagues in the legislature intended to get them thinking more about how much money is proposed to be spent outside of the state budget. Stinner gave them reports on the amounts of money schools, cities, counties, and the state have received through this past December in the CARES Act, as well as details on how much more federal funding each are projected to get out of the $975 million anticipated to be coming to Nebraska through the American Rescue Plan. Stinner then gave them a comparison of spending requests this year compared to previous years, calling it somewhat unprecedented. I calculated over the last 10 years, the last decade, the amount of money that was brought to the floor for spending bills. Last decade, 227 million was brought to the floor. This session, we're at 245 million. Stinner says he was not sure most, if not all the spending requests are for good causes, but he asked lawmakers to consider how those dollars are flowing into governmental coffers and help prioritize what they should be focusing on for the rest of the session, as well as in following years. Well, coming up after the break, Bill Boyer is in with your midweek forecast. He'll have that for you right after this on KNEB.TV News. At Platte Valley Bank, we realize the way people want to bank in the future may be different than it has been. As comfort levels and desires vary by person, banking may be different for some, yet not for others. We offer the best of both worlds, a traditional banking experience with our friendly tellers and an online or mobile banking option with features that you can personalize and utilize anytime, anywhere you go. So you can bank how you want, when you want, and from where you want to. Platte Valley Bank. At Elite Physical Therapy, we provide preventative and rehabilitative treatments that maximize function and promote well-being for patients of all ages. With two locations in Scotts Bluff and Gearing, we offer the convenience of you choosing your location with the same great services no matter where you go. Stop into one of our locations today in Scotts Bluff at 214 West 27th Street or in Gearing at 10th and M Street and see what Elite Physical Therapy can do for you. Treatment you need and care you deserve.
This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Well, we're going to be dealing with partly cloudy skies this evening. Maybe still a rumble of thunder around here for a little bit. Otherwise, clearing skies overnight and temps falling down into the 30s again. Another chilly night. Storms will come to an end. Warmer conditions tomorrow. We really have daily rain and thunderstorm chances over most of the next seven days. Could be looking at some widespread precip actually with this system. 54 yesterday after a morning low of 39, certainly below normal. Added a little bit more moisture into the rain gauge. Still a little below normal for the month and year. 55 right now in Laramie. Warmer 50s and 60s here across the region. You can see where there's a little pocket of showers. Uh, it still have temps a little cooler out there in the central and eastern panhandle. 50s to near 60 though for most of us. Winds are gustier around those showers and storms at 10 to 20. Otherwise, 5 to 15 mile an hour winds will cover most of us. Getting on that bus tomorrow with partly cloudy skies, a cool start in the morning, about 41 degrees. But when we come home, a little nicer tomorrow, mainly sunny skies and 74. Beautiful looking day tomorrow. Here are those showers and storms. They should push off to the east. They're primarily going to be east of us here for the rest of the night. and We'll clear out and leave us with Clear to partly cloudy skies overnight. Another chilly night with lows falling down into the 30s overnight tonight. So another cool one. Now tomorrow we'll start the day with a mix of clouds and sun. More clouds come in for a little bit through the morning hours and then we'll turn mainly sunny later on and just an isolated shower or storm tomorrow. More isolated than today and clearing skies late tomorrow night into Friday, resetting the stage for daily thunderstorm chances going up for the rest of the weekend. 70s tomorrow for highs here across the region. As we look at precip, it's going to be pretty light here over the next 36 hours. Hit or miss a few hundredths is about all that we're going to get out of anybody. However, we've got better chances of rain coming. This is going on from Friday through the weekend. We're looking at pretty widespread moderate precip, uh, some areas of heavy precip here across the region. This is the European model, not much different here for the GFS model, only showing a bit more moisture here for us. Let's hope we can get some of that much needed moisture and we could see some beneficial rain out of these storms coming. Storms ending, otherwise partly cloudy skies. We'll call it 36 for a low. For tomorrow, partly cloudy, it is gonna be warmer. We'll be in the mid 70s tomorrow for highs. Looking pretty nice. Our seven day forecast, we bring in those thunderstorm chances back on Friday into the weekend and into early next week. Shower and storm chances every single day. Could see some ac decent accumulations of rain, let's hope, out of it. Temperatures hovering around that 70 degree mark for most of the next seven days. The Verizon family is full of frowns because they're spending too much for their unlimited data and phones, while the Viero family is all smiles because they're getting four lines of unlimited data with two free Apple iPhone SE for mom and dad and two free LG K31 smartphones for the kids, all for just $100 a month. They're saving so much, they're able to get Fido. Find out how you can too at Viero.com or your nearest Viero store. Viero Wireless, keeping you connected. Find out what convenient really means at the Western Travel Terminal. Start with our great selection of food and drinks from for real milkshakes and fresh brewed coffee to snacks and hot food. Next, check out our beer and spirits with their everyday low prices. Finally, let us work for you with our full-service gas station and automatic truck and car wash. All this can be found at 822 South Beltline in Scotts Bluff. Western Travel Terminal, your convenient shopping, restaurant, and full-service gas leader. Why love a rain garden? Let me count the ways. Rain gardens contain and filter water runoff while recharging our underground water supply. They provide habitat for birds, bees, and beneficial insects. Native perennials give four seasons of color and texture, beautifying a home while increasing its value. Established gardens are low maintenance, low water landscape features. Colorful, functional, and sustainable. Rain gardens, brought to you by Tri-City Stormwater. Our water, our responsibility. Welcome back. A proposal to let people play Keno on their mobile phones in Nebraska bars and Keno parlors stalled abruptly this week after lawmakers stripped it out of a casino legislation bill. Lawmakers voted, voted 27 to 11 to remove the provision from a broader bill that would regulate Nebraska's new casino industry. Voters legalized casinos back in November despite opposition from prominent gambling opponents, including Governor Pete Ricketts. 
Voters didn't directly address Keno when they approved the constitutional amendment to allow casinos, but supporters argued that casinos will end up hurting the Keno industry, which generates millions of dollars in tax revenue for Nebraska cities each year. Under current state law, Keno is still played with paper cards, while casinos offer flashier computerized games. Sticking with the legislature now as Nebraska banks that want to cash in on the cryptocurrency tech craze could start offering services to customers who own Bitcoin and other digital assets under a bill backed by state lawmakers. Senators advanced the measure 39 to 1 through the first round of three required votes in the legislature. The measure would make Nebraska the second state to create a formal charter for crypto banks, allowing them to help facilitate transactions. The first state was Wyoming, which chartered its first institution in September. Cryptocurrencies are an online form of money that are stored and tracked using a decentralized network of independent computers, which make transactions extremely secure and easy to verify. And Nebraska will get roughly $1 billion in aid under the federal government's plan to help states hit by the coronavirus pandemic. The U.S. Treasury Department announced a state-by-state -state funding breakdown for President Joe Biden's American Rescue Plan, an effort to restore jobs lost during the pandemic and replenish the coffers of governments that saw huge declines in tax revenue. The plan will distribute $350 billion to state, local, territorial, and tribal governments. And the Treasury Department says governments can use the money to cover local public health costs, address the economic impacts of the pandemic, and replace lost tax revenue. They can also spend it on premium pay for essential workers and water, sewer, and broadband infrastructure projects. Well, straight ahead, we'll head on over to the Panhandle Humane Society to meet their featured Pet of the Week. We'll have that in just 90 seconds. Hey, I've been hanging out here a long time outside of Panhandle Auto Group, and boy, do they have a great selection of vehicles. And their sales team is great to work with, and you can also get your vehicle serviced in detail, too. Welcome to Panhandle Auto. This is Sam Serta, General Sales Manager. It's been our pleasure to serve you for the past two years. At Panhandle Auto, we have a seat for everybody. Whether you need a vehicle for yourself, a son or daughter, our team will go above and beyond to satisfy your needs and even your dreams. So again, thank you from Sam Serta, General Sales Manager at Panhandle Auto, for allowing us to earn your business. At Panhandle Auto, it's time for something different. Why settle for Wi-Fi that just usually works? Why settle for customer service that's subpar? Why settle for service that's outdated? You don't have to. Settle for more with Allo, the faster, more reliable internet experience that's built for the way you use all your devices. For answers, visit us at allofiber.com slash switch today. Allo, settle for more. In boots, new and old, you've walked the rows of life, a fence length of time. You fought the floods, snow, and sweltering heat, and lifted breathing and settled pain. With a smile and a cry, you've strengthened your community and future generations, sometimes with nothing to say, often can't say enough. Like, let me do it again. So this is Sam, he's eight years old, he's an old cat, but he loves people and he just lays there all day. So he's lazy, would just lay in your lap and love to be there with you. Um, so he is $25 and that ex includes, well, he's fixed and he has up to date on vaccinations and then he'd get some food and rabies too. So. So I think an ideal house for Sam would be one with no cats, but just a lot of people. He loves to give people love and just ones with some windows that he can watch the birds outside. So he loves to just lay around all day. So pretty To meet Sam or any of the cats and dogs they have available for adoption, you can head on over to the Panhandle Humane Society daily during normal business hours. In boots, new and old, you've walked the rows of life a fence length of time. You fought the floods, snow, and sweltering heat, and lifted breathing and settled pain. With a smile and a cry, you've strengthened your community and future generations, sometimes with nothing to say, often can't say enough, like, let me do it again. 
Welcome to Kelly's, home of the Valley's best selection of wine, spirits, and beer. Whether you're brand loyal to the tried and true brew or really enjoy trying something different and new, Kelly's has something for everyone. Family owned and operated and right on your way on West 27th Street in Scotts Bluff. Kelly's Liquor, if you can't find it at Kelly's, it's not worth drinking. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar. That's a look at today's community calendar brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. Panhandle Trail's Inner City Public Transit, based in Alliance, Nebraska, is the only inner city bus serving Nebraska Panhandle communities and Pine Ridge, South Dakota. Panhandle Trails operates a regularly scheduled bus service, assisting you in making connections with Greyhound bus partners, regional airports, healthcare, employment and education opportunities, shopping, family, friends, and more. Panhandle Trails serves the general public of all ages and offers accessible transportation for those with special mobility needs. Let Panhandle Trails help you make your connection. Call 308-761-8747. If you're like me, you're willing to travel for a good steak and a great dining experience. Bobby Joe's Branding Iron in downtown Bayard has just that. Some of the Panhandle's tastiest flat iron steaks, ribeyes, and even prime rib. Pair that with a western dining experience in our quiet dining room or fun-filled main dining area, you and your family are sure to have a great night out on the town. So if you're looking for a great new restaurant to try, you just gotta head on over to Bobby Joe's Branding Iron in Bayard. Open Tuesday through Sunday for lunch and dinner. At Platte Valley Bank, we want you to plan for tomorrow Will you enjoy today. With our personalized trust and estate planning services, our trust services can help you do just that. When it comes to estate planning, you should seek professional help. And when you do, you should have confidence in the financial institution you choose to handle your trust. At Platte Valley Bank, we pride ourselves in keeping our trust operations local and serving our friends and neighbors. We offer a highly personalized, full line of personal trust and estate planning. Give us a call today and see how our trust services can help you. And finally tonight, the Oregon Trail Community Foundation has announced the final tally of all donations received during their 24-hour Wyo Brassic Gives event that was held on May 4th. After all manual transactions were completed from the Wyo Brassic Kids donations from the area booster clubs and the give boxes at area Platte Valley Bank locations, the committee announced the grand total of $279,970. A new feature for this year was the opportunity to donate volunteer hours and the community came through with flying colors tallying 1,468 total volunteer hours. For some organizations, those hours are just as important, if not more so, as for the financial donations. 
The OTCF wants to thank the community that gave in such a big way to the 99 nonprofits that participated in this year's Wyobraska Gibbs. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.